Hi, my name is Sean Beard and I'm submitting this video as part of my application for the Google Certified Trainer Program. I'm a 20-year educator serving 14 of those years in the classroom and 10 of those years as a professional development trainer. I currently serve as a Virtual Academy Director and PD Trainer for Sand Springs Public Schools. In addition to creating and teaching several workshops, I have also developed and hosted several technology education conferences with the goal of ensuring that our teachers gain the necessary skills to survive in the classroom. An important goal of our district is to ensure that our students not only have a quality education, but also the skills they need to compete in a technology-driven world. In helping with that goal, I have served not only as a Google Apps district trainer, but also as part of our one-to-one -one Chromebook team. This year, we are in the second phase of our Google Apps for Education rollout, in which we will place Chromebook carts in all of our English language arts classrooms. Our teachers love having the ability to integrate Google Apps into their lessons. Not only do they love using Google Docs and Slides, but also forms for assessments. Right now, we are coaching our teachers on helping our students develop their own digital portfolio using Google Sites. By giving our students the tools they need to succeed in the classroom, we're also helping them pave the way towards success in the post-secondary world. Nothing can help us achieve that goal more effectively than Google Apps for Education. Hi, recently I've had a lot of questions about using Google Forms as a flipped classroom tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly show you how to do that and then add it into Google Classroom so that you can give it to your students. Here I've already got a header for my form, so I'm going to add a picture of some notes from my lecture by clicking Add Item and then Image. I'm going to upload that file now. And then below that I'm going to add a video from YouTube to support that little bit of instruction. Now I already have the video, so all I have to do is paste in the URL for that video here. That's the video I want, so I click select and it will appear below my text here. I can add a title for that if I want to. Click done. And then the next part, I'm going to add a question as a check for understanding. So I'll add that item in here. This is going to be a multiple choice question. And my question is right over here in this document. So I'll copy this piece of text, paste it in. And all I have to do to get these four answers in this bulleted list is copy them all and then paste them in the option one box. And then it populates it for me and I can click done. So here I have a, a nice quick run through the material, a video to support, and a check for understanding. I'll go to the live form, copy that link, go over to Google Classroom, and then post that as an announcement for my class. Provide the link, and we're good to go.